हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज हाउ टू राइट अ बुक रिव्यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर योर रिसर्च करिकुलम एज वेल एज इट इज वन ऑफ द असाइनमेंट दैट यू विल बी हैविंग इन योर प्रीपेयर द कोर्स वर्क और इन योर रिसर्च पेपर so in this lecture i will discuss about the format of uh, format of book review how to conduct book review and as well as we will discuss about the uh, essential ingredients of a book review and what preparation you require for conducting the book review so this is dr rao singh let's move ahead so let us talk about what is book review so book review is all about critically analyzing and evaluating the quality style and merit of content of a book so whatever the text whatever the text you review you should focus on this three aspect that what is this quality what is the style of writing and what is the merit of this text so we have to focus on these three aspects so now we try to understand that how we conduct book review before we in that we should know that what are the various types of book review so when we talk about the various types of book review so book review can be the descriptive review or it can be the critical review when we talk about in a research context or in assignment or in all this type of context we uh, most of the time we refer for this critical review so it is very important for your research syllabus so in this lecture i will cover in detail that how to conduct the critical book review but yes before going to that let us try to understand the difference between a descriptive review and the critical review so when we talk about descriptive review it presents the content and structure of a book and objectively as possible giving only essential information and about a book purpose and it is done with description and by stating the perceived aims and purpose of the author so we have in descriptive review what we focus on it presents the content and structure of a book as objectively as possible so you know we should define the content and structure in a precise way in a descriptive review so moreover what we do in descriptive review we often incorporate the passage from the book that highlights the key elements of the particular work or the book right so in descriptive review what we do we just focus on describing this descriptive review uh, we just focus on describing the text or the book in a precise way in a in a uh, short way and uh, and uh, we just highlight the various text of the book and the work that is given in that particular book but we don't go for critically analyzing the content of the book so i hope that descriptive review is clear to you now coming on critical review so when we talk about critical review so critical review describes and evaluates the book in relation to the accepted literary and the historical standards and supports this evolution with the evidence from the text and in most cases in comparing to the research of the others so in critical review what we do we critically try to critically describe the content of the particular book so for that what we do most of the time we we compare the book we compare the text with the work of others with the work of others we try to compare the text with the work of others right 
एंड दिस क्रिटिकल वे बी शुड इंक्लूड अ स्टेटमेंट अबाउट व्हाट द ऑथर हैज टाइड टू डू इवेल्यूएट हाउ वेल द ऑथर हैज सक्सीडेड एंड प्रेजेंट एविडेंस टू सपोर्ट दिस इवेल्यूएशन सो बेसिकली इन क्रिटिकल रिव्यू व्हाट वी डू Uh, it means that uh, in the opinion of reviewer, I mean what the reviewer do, uh, he should include the statement in the review about what the author tried to explain, what the what the author is explaining the particular book, and uh, reviewer should evaluate that how well uh, the author has succeeded, and reviewer should present the evidence to support the evaluation. so you know what i have just discussed that for most of the your research courses and your assignments you will get this critical review as a assignment you you will get the uh, assignment on conducting the book review of any book and it is should be the critical review when we talk about in research courses and uh, and uh, your uh, uh, pre phd course work so critical review is very important because you know it develops the skill of critically examining the literature or the text and of course yes this book review will helpful in conducting the literature review right so so this critical review is very important and in this lecture i will be just focusing on the critical review now critical review should include what what i have just discussed that statement about what the author is trying to do evaluate how well and the author succeeded and of course yes present evidence to support this evaluation now so when we talk about critical review so writing a critical review requires certain steps the first and foremost step is understanding the material understanding material i mean that understanding the text then analyze those texts then evaluate the text and prepare the review by following the structure now coming on the first thing that what preparation that you should have for conducting the critical review so you know when you go for the book review uh, you should jot down the certain points in your notebook first of all the information about the author so when we talk about the information about the author yes it should be in the light of the background and qualification what the writing style and uh, use of sources what kind of the bibliography or the charts and figures or the sources that he referred in his book and why he is writing the book so all these points should be covered in your Uh, column about about the author so these are the preparation that you should have uh, before conducting the review uh, we are not moving to the format of or the structure of book review i am just discussing over here that what the various points that you should cover before going ahead for the book review now next is the book format so the next thing that you should go for you should uh, know uh, about the book is the format of the book that is table of contents section uh, index and of course is you should go for the introduction of that book uh, because you know the introduction tells most of most of the things about the format purpose and and the target audience so you should please go for the preface and the introduction of the book because it these Uh, at uh, as uh, this one preface and introduction will help you in knowing about the format of the book then coming on the content so of course here yes, these content should be uh, critically analyzed introduction and conclusion preface executive summary then chapter summaries and table graphs and figures now what is the structure of book review very important to students i am just now starting with the what should be the structure of book review so when we talk about structure of book review the first part consists of introduction then main body then evolution and finally the recommendation so i am over here referring to the critical review i am again saying in this lecture we will discussing about the critical review right so in critical review we should follow all these steps 
So now let's see these all of these step one by one. So first of all, we start with the introduction. So when we talk about introduction, that it consists of a general description of the book, uh, right? The title, the author, the subject and format, and here you can include details about who is the author. and where he states the field of inquiry i am just saying from the very beginning that in critical review we analyze the things critically we analyze the book critically so of course here uh, you should include about the author and what his uh, where he is in the field of the study how much he is popular in the field of the study right then link the title of the book with the subject you know the title of the book uh, should be linked with the subject it means that that particular title or the topic of the book how well it is contributing towards the subject you know uh, any book on management or any book on psychology or you know any book on research uh, the the title of the book is how much it is the particular book or the title is relevant what aspect of the particular subject that particular title is indicating the particular um, title is linked with the part, with the particular field of study then a brief summary of the purpose of the book and a general argument or theme what will be the uh, what is the theme of the book right what is the purpose of the book so you will find out what we have just discussed that we face educative summary and uh, you know introduction part you will be having the idea about the purpose of the book and its general theme or the argument what we say that it should include a statement about for whom the book is intended of course yes in book review when we talk about introduction we should also focus on we should also explain that what who uh, by targeting what kind of audience the author is writing this book right so at uh, what i mean uh, here i will say that you should also include at last your view point about the book it means that what is your opinion on the idea that is given in the book and is it a suitable appropriate piece of writing about the problem that it has identified about the topic that it has identified and discussed in the particular book now coming on the second coming on the just a minute uh, yeah coming on the second part first is introduction now coming on the second part of the book review is your main body now main body consists of the summary of the content so in this what we do write at least 3 4 sentence about the plot you know what was the chapter or the article about and what is the writer's style whether it is simple technical persuasive logical and you should explain this summary in the main body in at least in 3 to 4 subjects then in this 3 to 4 sentence you should after spinning all these things you know chapter is all about and what is the writer's style actually in introduction we have discussed about all these points and uh, that we should uh, focus on this but here what we say we in this we are only focusing on that how much the particular book is important for the particular field of study but in main body we now we discuss about the content of the book and that for how we discuss how we discuss that we discuss that by writing at least 3 to 4 sentence about the plot or about the book that what was the chapter or the article is about and what is the writer's writing skills is all about you should critically examine all these things and present in the main body then coming on the evolution of the text so basically in critical review it is the crux of a book review i mean here we are talking about critical review that in critical review evolution is very important evolution is very important and shows the analytical skill of the reviewer that how he is evaluating the particular work or the particular uh, text of the book so how you evaluate the book what are the various criteria so first of all evaluate on the basis of how clearly the book is written did the author to achieve his or her goal whatever he want to try to explain by the title of the book whatever he, what he want to say to the uh, what he want to say uh, say to the target audience whether he is able to that or how do this or a follow short and what are the author's most important points that you get in the particular book and list at least two examples of how the author provided or did not prove points he was trying to make so you should Uh, give example from the book if he is uh, 
as you you think of that yes he is able to uh, describe the particular phenomena or the particular title and he has made justification with the topic so please cite example from the book please cite some text from the book and if you feel like that yes author is not able to achieve his writing goals what uh, the purpose what he why he, he was writing so if you are uh, thinking like that that he is uh, uh, he is not uh, proving the points that he was intending to do so so of course yes in that case also you should provide some examples so of course yes please focus on the examples from the text so this is the third part so first is introduction main body evolution now under evolution the next is point that we discuss is the criteria is what possibilities that the book suggests for the reader why did the book leave out how the book compares to others on the particular subject the whatever the books that is available in the market to how this particular book that you are doing reviewing is compared to the other subject what personal experience do you have with to the subject have you ever done some of the things or felt some of the same thing that the character did what do you like best about the book and what do you like least about the book so of course this very important point best and least you should discuss and if you could change something in the book what it would be very important if you want something clean in the book that you uh, you find out that yes uh, this chapter is not uh, explaining the topic in this sector is or the this particular text is not explaining the topic that what kind of changes you want how it can be uh, how it can be enhanced right so you should discuss this point in the evolution of the text now coming on the last point that is last part that is your recommendation now the condition means that what to think of that what to recommend so of course what prepare the recommendations you should focus on this point first of all you should compile together any issues that you find out during your review then would you recommend this book to another person if yes so why if no so why then why and what kind of changes you recommend right then what type of person would like this book what you think of that what will be the target audience right so all these points should be covered in this uh, part of recommendation now uh, at last coming on the thumb rule of book review the first one half to two third of the review should summarize the author's main idea while the remainder of the report should evaluate the book so whatever i am just talking about this basic rule for critical review that for first one half to two thirds of the review should summarize the author's main idea whatever the author is saying like but yes while the remainder of the report should evaluate the book so how will you make the evolution you should make the evolution by considering all these points students right so we have discussed about the structure of the book review and in this lecture i have focused on critical review because it is one of the important aspect of your research or your uh, research syllabus or your prepared the course work so please go through this presentation and uh, this lecture and prepare the book review of any of the book that is suggested by your professor so thank you students please like share and subscribe my channel for such videos have a great day ahead